Hi guys, so I want to walk you through my typical ICU routine, kind of what I do um, to give you guys a little rundown because I get a lot of people that ask me like, what do you do when you show up to a hospital in the morning? What's your routine in the morning? What do you, all those things. So I'm just going to do a sit down video, kind of talk through my day and yeah. So when I get to work, I always go put my stuff in the locker, put my lunch in the fridge and in the break room is our assignment sheet and it shows who has each room. So I get my little report sheet that I carry with me. I have a few in my locker and I will go to my room assignments and this is when I get report from the night shift nurse. So once I get report, what I do is I try to kind of quickly look through the chart a little bit, just see any labs, anything pertinent that stands out that I really need to deal with. And then I like to go in and assess both of my patients or one of my patients, depending on if I have one or two at this time. So I go in, I do my assessment. I usually kind of clean out the room. Everyone organizes their rooms differently. So I kind of organize my stuff and make sure I have my supplies in the room and my tubes are labeled and my IV lines are labeled and all of that fun stuff that makes me an OCD ICU nurse. And um, if the patient needs to get turned early in the morning and they get their total max assist, I usually will turn them and I get my big assessment done and I usually do one patient, go back and chart, and then do the other patient and go back and chart. Throughout the day, things can change, things can be crazy, things can be slow. So every hour I do the eyes and nose, you know, see how much output's in the Foley, how much has gone in, and calculate that. And then I do vital signs. It depends on the patient if they're on a cardiac drip. I may do vital signs every 5 to 15 minutes. Um, if they're unstable, every 5 minutes, every 3 minutes. If it's um, a patient who's maybe... Um, a lower acuity, maybe every 30 minutes, maybe every hour. Um, but for sh I usually typically do my vital, vital signs at minimum every 30 minutes, depending on the patient. They may need more or less. I try to do skin care every two hours with repositioning. And of course, throughout the day, I'm titrating drips and looking at the ventilator and assessing the patient. We have to do assessments every four hours in the ICU and with any change. And these are full assessments, which I will be doing another video coming up soon here on um, ICU like head to toe assessment. Throughout the day I may get patients who are downgraded to like a telemetry floor, med search floor, so when that happens of course we have to get all the longings together, call report, transfer the patient down, and I may get patients who are upgraded to the ICU or admissions from the ER, so that kind of you know varies my day. I typically try to take a lunch break somewhere around 1 to 2-ish if I'm lucky. Throughout the day doctors are always coming in the room, the specialists and assessing the patients. There's really no time, specific time that they come by, it's just random. Um, in the morning we do rounds with all the like core staff and people involved in the patient's care and kind of get a basis of what the day is bringing. And at seven o'clock, night shift nurses come on and I give report and then I ideally get home, well, leave by 7.30, no later, sometimes earlier, sometimes later if I have to stay in chart and catch up on things. But yeah, that's a typical day. It sounds a lot simpler on when I'm just talking about it, but really things can be crazy or they can be like totally boring. Just depends, that's what the ICU brings. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.